you know for Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. It is your girl in a way and there's absolutely no way without going through the way. Today is day two of the devotional and I'm just gonna quickly tap record for the podcast people and yeah I hope that these these devotionals, mini little devotionals are blessing you as much as they are blessing me because the revelation is quite incredible. So I am so excited for today's devotional which is about how love is kind and this is such a, a very rich word that's used on a day-to-day -day basis we've all used it to define a friend of ours that's like super affectionate a friend of ours that is continuously always with us and when i was really like seeking the lord on this specific word like what do you mean that love is kind god and um one of the things that we usually use it um, to describe a, a person that is willing to extend assistance or help out out of the goodness of their heart and I feel like kindness and goodness will, will always go together they are like those twins that are always rubbing on each other like they're like similar but not the same because um, just like patience kindness has an element of grace you might be asking yourself what is grace it is unmerited favor it is when you receive things that you do not deserve but you get them anyway and in scripture the kindness of God is seen um, with how he interacts with the children of Israel how he interacts with the people that he calls out and he says come I've called you and then he lets you um, um, accept that call and after you accept that call he takes you through this journey and he takes even the children of Israel he took them through a journey where he was patient with them where he was kind to them and ensuring and providing for them and I think that's something that um, we see in scripture and how we see it in Jesus's ministry is that he was not discriminatory like he uh, went to every person um, of all kinds from all tribes and he was not uh, nitty picky and nitty gritty about a few things and he put in my heart to read uh, Titus Titus 3 verse 4 to 6 so the scripture reads as follows right um, but when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, He saved us, not because of righteous things we have done, but because of His mercy, He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. And verse 6 is, verse, verse 6 says, Whom He poured out on us generously through Christ Jesus our Savior. And I think that one of the most important things that the Lord is really trying to show is that his kindness has allowed and let him come and save us and when we open up to receiving that kindness we not only just open up to that grace we need to also extend that same kind of grace and the beautiful thing about the love of God is that you can only extend it with the help of Holy Spirit and some of the definitions is that of, of kind is being generous, it's being affectionate, um, it's being considerate and I think that's something that is a quality that some people do not want to exercise but they have and once we uh, really activate that aspect of us, we really connect with people and we connect with God's children, we become one. I mean, I've never really, I've, I find it very difficult to be mean to a person that is not kind to me. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind to me. I find it very difficult to even be angry at a kind person. Uh, they, I know there's this very fancy saying that we, the cliche saying is not fancy, um, that we like, we like to say as people, like kill them with kindness. And it's very true because, and it's so interesting, one thing I also found or like really doing this devotional is that a lot of like what the world considers as these great codes, they're actually biblical principles that have been um, just <laughs> perverted in a way to make it seem like they're not from scripture when they're actually scripture or when they're inspired by scripture. And I just think that um, when it comes to the kindness of God and how we can radiate that love, it's just 
allowing ourselves to receive that kindness of God and fully sit in it. Because some of us, God is so kind to us, but because we're so hard on ourselves, we never really receive God's love. We never really receive um, His kindness. And that makes it difficult for us to be kind to the next person, even when they don't deserve it. Because that is what kindness looks like. You're not kind to people that are kind to you. You're kind to people, to, to all people, without discriminating. God, Jesus was kind to his disciples. He was kind to the Pharisees. He was kind to everybody, actually. And I think that's something, because we are imitators of Christ, therefore we must be imitating Christ. And I just hope that today's devotional has inspired you to be kind to the person. And I, I know this thing where it's like, be kind to everyone because you do not know what they're going through. And I feel like that was God's intention for us as well. That when we are kind to each other, one thing I love about the, the, the house of God or just like a church family is that when we all gather together, there is this um, love that radiates without it because we belong in one family. Um, I mean, we belong in one family. And we never really consider whether or not um, this person is a part of my family or not like when I come into the house of the Lord I love you with the love of the Lord even when I have no emotional attachment to you but because you are part of God's family you are part of my family and I know that this one was actually quite longer than <laughs> yesterday's one but um, I hope that it blessed you and inspired you to go and be kind to go and love the next person and that you are going to share this uh, devotional to a person that you want to be kind to or to somebody that you think really needs to hear this and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for uh, just showing up and really diving in deep into the word with me and really learning what is the kindness of God is and I'm gonna share all the scriptures that God is really dropping in my spirit and I will put them down there and you know just have a deep dive by yourself and get into that word and go on this journey with me partner with me and we're gonna understand and have a revelation of god's love i know that in these next 14 days it's it's not gonna seem like a lot and i've already learned so much and um i know that with these devotionals like the lord is inspiring me in very short periods of time but when i go through them when they're being released again and i'm going through the comments he's going to continuously keep inspiring me even more and like holy spirit is going to keep speaking and i'm going to keep getting revelation over and over again that by the time conference comes i am so excited by the time conference gets here I know that the Lord would have said so many amazing things and I hope that you were encouraged today I hope that you are inspired and I just pray that the Lord opens up your mind opens up your heart for 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 you to receive his love and for you to open up your heart God is a gentleman he will never enforce himself onto you he will knock he will ask he will suggest he will like always he's never going to impose himself because that's not his character um and that's the devil the devil is the one that imposes himself on us but god never does that and i want you to um you know spend today with god's word in your mind with god's word in your heart that he is good and he will forever be a faithful father and yes i hope that this inspire you as just as much as they ha are inspiring me have a good day today and love people with the love of god see you tomorrow bye bye